Uh, my name is Pam Lawson. I am a beach body coach. Actually, a fairly new one. I just became a beach body coach in late November of 2013. One of our lessons in the Coach Academy training is about time management, and that's one of the areas that I learned to master with the multitasking that I have to do on a daily basis, being a mom working full time. At the time, I was also going to school full time, so and living this lifestyle. So it, it, was, it was a lot to juggle, and I learned how to manage time. Um, I'm going to read something here because I didn't do it completely by heart, but it could be helpful to many of you um, regarding time management. It's really regarding the possibilities of really aligning your priorities, putting the most important things first and all the way down. So it's always time, room to make time for things that you don't think you have the time for, including working out. Some people think they can't do that. Um, anything's possible. So I'm going to not look at the camera. I'm going to be reading and back and forth, but I just want to share this with you so you can have some sort of insight on time management, okay? Um, what I'm gonna to read to you is The Big Rock Story. Stephen Covey's book, First Things First, 1996, if you wanna go and get that, that tells you a whole lot of stuff. It tells a story of an expert in time management who was speaking to a group of business students. And as he stood in front of the group of high-powered overachievers, he said, okay, time for a quiz. He then pulls out one gallon wide mouth mason jar and sets it on the table. He produces about a dozen fist sized rocks and carefully placed them in one at a time into the jar. And when the jar was filled to the top and no more rocks could fit inside, he asked, is the jar full? Everyone in the class unanimously said yes. And then he said, really? He reached under the table and pulled out a bucket of gravel and then he dumped some gravel and shook the jar, causing all the gravel to work its way down into the spaces between the big rocks. Then he asked the group once more, is the jar full? By this time, the class was on to him. Probably not, one of the students answered. Good, he replied. And he reached under the table and brought out a bucket of sand and started dumping the sand into the jar until it filled the spaces between the rocks and the gravel. Once more, he asked the question, is the jar full? No, the class shouted. Once again, he said, good. Then he grabbed a pitcher of water and began to pour it in until the jar was filled to the brim. Then he looked at the class and asked, what is the point of this illustration? One eager beaver raised his hand and he said, the point is, no matter how full your schedule is, if you try really hard, you can always fit some more things into it. No, the student replied, that's not the point. The truth this illustration teaches is that you don't put the big rocks in first, you will never get them in at all. I'm going to say that again. The illustration says, if you don't put the big rocks first, you won't get them in at all. The big rocks represent the most important priorities throughout your day. Okay, Your children, your loved ones, your education, your dreams, a worthy cause, teaching others, doing things you love, your health, your mate. Remember to put the big rocks in first and you'll never get them or you'll never get them in at all if you sweat about the little stuff then you'll never find life with little things and you'll never have the real quality time you need to spend on the big important stuff so summary approaches to time management online learning beach body coaching parenting exercising, whatever it may be. Remember your priorities, the big rocks have to go into your jar first and everything else 
will find its way into your schedule. Don't sweat the little stuff. It'll happen in its time. That's all. Have a good one.